Okay guys, so I'm holding the camera in my hand and I'm running Ubuntu 10.10 64-bit on my Sony Pio. And as you can see that I have two icons in the corner. One is called um, Compass Fusion and another one is called, if you can see, GTK Window Decorator. Um, I was going to run Emerald things but I've decided not to. And I've also customized it because I'm used to having it below. So I'm going to open up the internet. I have Firefox installed. Um, it is the latest version of Firefox. Uh, hold on, let me just go to uh, Wikipedia or something like that. Wikipedia. Dot org. Sorry guys, I'm like holding the camera in my hand. Oh, I forgot to connect to my wireless router. I apologize for that. Okay, give it a sec. Connection established, and we can load Wikipedia. So this is our internet. It's slow at first, but then afterwards if you use it, it works pretty well. And I'm gonna show you the version. This is version 3.613, this is the most updated version um, that I updated it from Ubuntu. And as you can see my windows wobble because I have Compass Fusion enabled. So this is Wikipedia, I also installed uh, Chromium, which is Google Chrome for... which is Google Chrome for um, Ubuntu. So we're gonna click Chromium browser right here and it's gonna open Chromium. As you can see, it looks exactly like Google Chrome. Let's open up Wikipedia again. Opens up pretty fast and I'm gonna show you the version. I'm gonna click the little wrench icon here and we're gonna go to about Chromium. This is Chromium. 8.0 build 552.224.6599. So this is like Google Chrome, but this is a version for Ubuntu. So we're gonna close that. It runs pretty fast. Some I also installed a video editor. It's called uh, KDN Live. KDN Live, I think. Caden Live, yeah, that's how you pronounce it. Haven't opened it yet. So we're gonna open it up. Just gives us a sec to load. Alright, so we're in the config wizard. We're gonna go next. Next. And we're gonna do 1080p at 30 frames per second. And finish. And let's maximize this window. Actually, no, it was actually better like that. I apologize. So this is Kden Live, which is available for free. It's a free open source editor um, for Linux. I will not be replacing this with Sony Vegas, but I need a full functioning editor for uh, Linux. This is version 4.51. As you can hear that in the background, that's my television. I'm just learning how to use this program, but it's not too bad. Let's close it off. So I'm going to quit that. And the other thing I'd like to show you is I have OpenOffice installed on this. OpenOffice.org 2.2. .2. It doesn't take too long and it opens up openoffice.org writer, I think. It's not too bad. If we go to about, it says it's version 3.21, build 9505. The latest version. And let's see what else we have. We have a couple of games in here. Not too bad. We have Jim, which is our image editor. 
it's not too bad with image editor I'm gonna exit that well this is version um, 2.6.10 it's available for free to download at gym.org if you guys already know that I've also installed uh, Eclipse for compatibility purposes and I also have Skype installed I'll show you guys Skype for Linux it's still in its beta stage right now so let me sign in and sign in so I'm signing into Skype right now and it looks uh, pretty basic but it does really well for its purpose like um, if we chat um, the chat window looks like this it's very standard but it's really good for now and then also you can call if you see a tiny icon right there you can call so this is just basically Ubuntu 10.10 .10 running on my Sony Vial. So I hope to see you guys again with another video like this. Alright? Peace.